Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kuldeep here. Today we are going to learn about Playwright test environment setup and the first test script creation with help of Playwright. So let's start. So before moving to the practical parts, let's try to understand couple of things theoretically. So guys, as you know, like this is the architecture of the Playwright which I have already explained in one of my previous video. So basically this client and the Playwright server, they are connected to each other and communicating with help of WebSocket protocol. And the client sends the request to the Playwright server over this WebSocket protocol. And once the Playwright server receives the request, it sends those requests to the respective browsers. And in case of Playwright actually, we need the binaries to work on these browsers. Okay. So now let's try to connect this thing with the Selenium. Okay. So as you know, like in the Selenium, what happens actually? So say like in the Selenium, we want to work on the Chrome browser. So for that, what we need? We need the Chrome driver.exe file. Okay. And in the same way, like if you want to work on a different browser like the Firefox or the uh, or the Edge, so we, we need the respective uh, driver exe file. After that, we are able to work on those browsers. Okay, so in the same way, for the playwright, actually, we need the binaries. If we have the Chromium binaries, then we can work on the Chrome and Edge browser. Okay, so, and with the help of Firefox binaries, we can work on the Firefox browser. And in the last, like with the help of WebKit, actually, we can work on the Safari browser. Okay, so now, like you are getting the point here. We need these binaries to interact with browsers. Okay. Let's move to the next point. So, as you know, like we can create our test script on the multiple OS like the Windows, Linux, and the Mac OS. Okay. Now, client sends the request to the Playwright server. Okay. So, what the Playwright server will do here? So, it will first check that these binaries are available on the system or not. Okay, so if these binaries are not available, so first it will download those binaries, okay, and then it will start the Playwright server. After that, it will be able to accept the request from the client, okay, and the configuration which we have defined in the client side. So, based on those configurations, the request will be sent to the respective browsers. So, this is the way things will be working on the Playwright, okay. In case like if those binaries are already present here, so it will not download those binaries and the Playwright server will simply send the request to the respective browser. So I hope like it makes sense. And there are two ways to get those binaries. So first is with help of pom.xml file and second is the command line. So now let's see the things practically. So let me create a Maven project here. So simply go to the new project maven project okay click over the next so guys if you are not aware like how we can create maven project so i will share the link of one of my video where i have explained like how we can create a maven project and apart from that like uh, there are multiple other things which you can learn from there we need to create a project of type quick start okay so i will write the quick start here you need to search for this QK start and select this Maven archetype QK start. So now click on this next button. Group ID as a playwright. Okay. And uh, keep the artifact ID as the playwright automation. Okay. So I will simply write uh, it as a playwright automation. Okay. After that, click on this finish button. Uh, a Maven project will be created in Eclipse. Okay. You can delete those packages or rename it. Okay, so that's not a problem. So let's delete those packages which are created by default. Okay. Okay, and uh, we can create a new package here. So let's create like uh, Playwright Learning. So let's see the first way to have those binaries in our system. So simply go to the official website of the Playwright and uh, as we are working on the Java, so select this Java option from here. Go to this documentation tab. 
select this getting started and after that select the installation option and here you can see like they have uh, given one example and if, along with that there is a pom.xml file we need to download the dependency for the playwright okay so i will just simply copy dependency from here let's paste inside our uh, pom.xml file okay and uh, we should keep it inside dependencies tag so let's keep it here right and uh, after that simply right click over this project select this maven option and uh, update project okay so that the all the required dependencies will be downloaded right and apart from that we will be working on the jdk 1.8 so just we need to change that uh, jdk version here as well change it to 1.8 okay so now let's create our first test script with the help of playwright so let me create a class here let's keep any name like i will write the playwright basics select this public static required main from here as well right to start with the scripting first we need to start the playwright server so we can do that with the help of playwright dot create so i will write the playwright dot create okay and after that we need to store this inside a playwright reference variable and one more thing like the playwright is interface and after that we need to launch the browser so i will write the playwright dot say like i want to work on the chromium so i will write the chromium dot launch okay so what it will return actually so it will return the browser instance okay we can store that inside a browser reference variable okay so i will write the browser So let's import this com.microsoft.playwright, okay? And after that, we need to create a new page on which we actually will be working. Uh, like we we will launching the URL, we will interacting the different web elements present on that page. So for that, we need to write the browser dot new page. It will create a new page here, okay? So we can store that inside a page variable, okay? So I will write the page equals to and uh, simply import the correct package here so uh, let's import this com.microsoft.playwright okay okay and now with help of this page we can launch any baby url so i can write like page dot navigate now let's try to get the title of this page so i will write the page dot title okay and as it is returning the string value so to it inside a string variable so i will write the string title and uh, let's simply print it out okay is title equals to title right and after that let's close this browser and uh, close the playwright server so i will write the browser dot close and uh, playwright dot close okay Okay. Okay. Now let's move to the official website of the playwright again, and let's move to this browser section. Okay. It says like the each browser of the playwright need specific versions of the browser binaries to operate. Okay. Depending on the language you use, playwright will either download these binaries at the package install time for you, or you will need to use the playwright CLI to install these browsers. Okay. And what kind of binaries it will download? So it will it will download the binaries for the Chromium, Firefox, and the WebKit. Okay. And let's see, like here it will download those binaries. So it will download these binaries at this particular location. So you need to go to this user profile, app data, local MS Playwright on the Windows. So as I am working on the Windows, so let's go here and see, like if I have this kind of uh, file present on my system, so I will go to the user profile, app data. Okay. Okay, so simply I will go to my users. Okay. And uh, app data. So guys, app data is hidden folder. So you just need to make sure that uh, 
hidden icons option is also checked okay so that you will able to see that app data folder okay app data okay local and uh, the name of the folder is ms hyphen playwright okay and you can see like as of now there is no ms hyphen playwright folder is present here so let's do one thing let's execute this program and see what happens okay and we already know like there is no binaries present as of now so now i hope like you are able to connect this point so first it will check like if there is no binaries present so it will download those binaries okay so let's uh, start the execution of this program so simply run as java application and see like how the things are working here it is checking that these binaries are present or not as it will find that there are no binaries present on the system so it is actually start downloading these binaries so let's go to this folder again okay so you can see like it has created a folder that is uh, ms hyphen playwright and it has started downloading uh, different kind of folders here in the same way like we will able to see some details on this console as well okay so here you can see like it has started uh, showing some details around the kind of folder it is downloading uh, once these binaries are fully downloaded then it will uh, execute this program okay so you can see like it has downloaded the chromium binaries firefox binaries this is ffmpz and this is for the webkit okay uh, you can see those folders here as well okay so once binaries are fully downloaded then you can see like it has return us the paste title so paste title is the orange hrm hr software okay so guys one more uh, interesting thing is here that in the playwright by default the test cases are executed in the headless mode and uh, to basically enable the headless headless mode we need to make some minor changes so let's see like what are those changes here we need to write the new browser type okay dot launch option and uh, let's import this uh, browser type from the playwright okay there is one method set headless okay so we need to provide the value as a false so now the browser will be launched in the non headless mode means you are able to see the ui here so let's execute this program and now this time the execution will be a bit faster because we already have the binaries in our system okay so i will simply right click run a java application it will launch the chromium browser and after that it will navigate to the url that is the orange okay right so you can see like it has launched the chromium browser and after that navigated to the orange and after that it has closed the browser as well as the playwright server and now let's try to execute the same test case on the firefox so, so we just need to change here the firefox okay and let's execute this test case again so here the uh, firefox browser will be launched and the orange hrm.com site will be opened inside it so here you can see like it has launched the firefox browser and orange hrm.com is launched now inside it okay after that it has closed the browser as well as the playwright server so now let's see like how we can launch the same url on the chrome browser so as we know that uh, the chrome browser comes from the chromium family so i will write in this way like chromium okay dot launch and here we need to provide one additional parameter okay so that is known as the dot set channel and uh, it is taking the name of the browser channel so i will write the chrome here okay and uh, let's execute this test case again and see what happens so i will simply right click and run a java application so here you can see like now my test case are getting executed inside the chrome browser in the same way we can 
launch this URL inside the is browser as well. So for that we need to write the ms edg okay and simply right click and run a Java application. Okay. So here we can see like it has launched the URL inside the edge browser, right? Okay. You have seen like we have executed our test cases in the different browser like Chromium, Firefox and the edge. Okay. So now let's see like how we can install the binaries with help of command line. So I will simply go to this folder and uh, Let's completely delete this one. So I will simply right click and delete it permanently. So there is no MS Playwright folder is present here. And now let's go to the Playwright site. Okay. And uh, let's move to this command line tools. Okay. Okay. So here you can see like they have given us the various commands. With the help of that actually we can install these binaries. Okay. So first is like running without argument will install the default browsers okay so this is the command we can install a specific browser like if we want to install the webkit then we need to provide this kind of command and this is for the all supported browsers okay let's use this one okay so this command to install the binaries okay so for that we need to go to a project properties okay and uh, right they just we need to make sure that the Mabel is installed on our system. Okay, if the Mabel is not installed, then these binaries will not be downloaded to your system. Okay, so what we need to do, I have just copied the command from there and uh, simply uh, paste it here. Okay, you can see like it has started downloading those binaries. Okay, so let's go to our app data folder. So here you can see like it has again created a new ms playwright folder and uh, now it will again download the binaries. Then you can again start with the test cases education. Okay guys, so that's it for today's session. I hope it is helpful and I have explained the things like how you can set up the playwright test environment and how you can create your first test script and uh, execute the test cases on the different browser. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.